Scientists always knew that some flower petals have these irregular shapes and sizes that are at the microscopic level. And they always thought that that was a disorder, but it wasn't. They discovered that these little nanostructures on flower petals put out an ultraviolet halo glow which bees can see. And in the previous uh, video I did, I mentioned how bees see in ultraviolet light, which is, of course, beyond the range of what we can see. So they can see that blue halo on specific flowers. We're just barely touching on the secrets of flowers. The other things that they do is they leave markings. If you notice in these photos, there's little markings that are saying this way, this way to the nectar. It's like being at an airport and you're flying in and you're getting clear direction where to go to get the goodies. And flowers want the bee to be successful because the two are in a symbiotic relationship. They depend on each other, not just honeybees, but all bees and pollinators rely on flowers and flowers rely on them for their reproduction. They, the pollen is basically the sperm. And so when the bee is in a flower, it's getting that pollen and then spreading it to the next flower and so on. In this photo, you'll see a bee. It's not a good photo, sorry. The bee has a white stamp on her back. Some flowers, when, you, when the bee pushes what is actually a lever or a trigger, the flower will actually stamp the bee with the pollen to make sure that it gets pollinated. Or sometimes the bee will get slapped in the face by the plant. It, they, they hit the trigger and wham, it gives them a little, like a powder puff, poof, into the face. And so the bee is absolutely covered in pollen. The flower is being certain of it to ensure its successful pollination.